Hello, I'm Tim. I'm the PM for the package stage. And today I wanted to highlight a few of the issues that we have planned for 16.7. The first is part of this broader epic to roll out the use of the new container registry API for listing repository tags. So this includes the REST API that's used for getting a list of tags given associated with the given image repository, but also with the tags list UI as well. So for example, if I open the GitLab project and go to the container registry, the page that I'm talking about is here. So to click on uh, a given image with 10,000 tags, this page will, will be 40 plus percent faster. In addition, the it will now support uh, su um, manifest and multi-arch images as well. And it, this is the first step towards expanding uh, the amount, the sorting parameters, as well as expanding the uh, metadata that's included with a given tag. So uh, correcting published date to be created at and last date, as well as other uh, distinguishing metadata. The next issue is actually an epic as well. And in 16.7, we're gonna deliver the MDC of the Maven dependency proxy. And so this feature really focuses on giving you the ability to add or configure one upstream remote make Java repository. So the way this will work is when you try to install a package, it will first look in your GitLab project if it, and then install it from there. And if it's not found there, it will pull from the upstream repository. And that can be Maven Central, it can be Artifactory or Sonotype. Uh, so basically, you can use your project as a cache to help speed up build times, uh, help improve reliability. Uh, and so there's, this is the first feature that's coming out for this. Uh, if you're interested in it, I'd recommend checking out this epic. We have demos and uh, ways that you can start using this feature now, even before 16.7 in beta. This issue is for the Terraform registry. And the issue is that right now you can... Uh, you can only download Terraform modules from the group and not from a project. And this causes problems if you have a very complex uh, project and subgroup organization as it can cause naming collisions. So in this case, we'll expand the functionality to allow you to download Terraform modules from a project as well as from the group. Also on the Terraform front, we'll be adding support for deploy tokens. Uh, deploy tokens are uh, nice because they have specific uh, package registry specific scopes so that you can really follow the path of least privilege. And on that front, we'll actually be adding a dependency proxy scope for, for GitLab tokens. Uh, this will be for the dependency proxy for containers. And so you'll be able to add uh, the scope read dependency proxy containers and write dependency proxy containers. In the future, we likely will do something similar for the package dependency proxy. Okay, that's enough talking for now. Thank you, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment on the issues. Thank you, everyone.